50 free tools and resources to create awesome UI for your next website or app. And this is a cool article by David Peculio, I think it is. And he's put together all of these covering things like videography, photography, topography, colors, animation, and lots more. We're going to take a look at some of these examples and have a look at how useful they are for your next website or app. But if you don't know who I am, I'm Adrian from Australia. I do videos around design and development. So if you haven't already, hit like and subscribe and we're gonna jump straight into it. The very first thing I wanted to take a look at is this website called Cover and they do free stock video. And I can't understate how important this is these days with websites. A lot of banners these days have really good video backgrounds. So let's type in technology in here. And what we're gonna do is have a look at some of the examples they have using things like computers and code and whatnot. So here we've got one of a person typing on a keyboard. And what I really like about this is that it's almost like a repeating video. So you could loop this through and most people wouldn't even realize it's a really good website and really good use. It's also got tags in here so we could pull out maybe laptop and get other examples of that. So cover is definitely a website I'll be bookmarking. Pexels is another really cool website that does both stock photography and video. And I already tried out this one here where I've put in the word coding and it's come out with some really cool examples. We've got code behind some glasses with a bit of blur. We've got code in black and white and we've just got basic code in general on a screen. These are really useful, especially when you're designing a website, just so that user interface has a bit more life in there. So that's a pretty cool example to check out when you guys have a chance. There's two websites in here that I really liked and one was called Unscreen and the other one was called Remove Background or Remove BG. Unscreen lets you remove the background from an image so you just get the person in there which is really cool. And then Remove Background is a similar one to that but it just does images. And I've already tested these out and they're really cool, they work really well. I actually put in a image of a guy called Florin Pop in here and it removed the background seamlessly. So I would definitely recommend checking them out too. Another website I really liked was this one here, which is called generator.photos. They use AI and machine learning to create individual photos of avatars so that you'll be able to use for your next design or UI. And these are generated with lots of filters. So you could, for example, select a male that's middle-aged and click apply. And here you'll get lots of different examples of that, which is really cool. We've got a couple of really cool illustration icons here for our people. And the very first one here is Open Peeps, which is just black and white hand-drawn visuals of different types of people. And you can customize these however you want, but this is a really cool website where you're able to generate lots and lots of different avatar looking like essentials that you can use for your next project. Another one with a little bit more color here is called uh, usersmash.com. And if we take a look at this one, they've got slightly different styled images here of avatars. And these are still pretty cool that you could utilize in your design. And finally, we have this one here called control.rocks. And here for this one, we've got a series of different characters doing different things. And this is useful if you're doing app design or have little selectors. So it's another one that I'll definitely be checking out in the future. Now, something I always have trouble with is finding the right color for website designs. And here we've got a cool app, which essentially does this for you. This is a color mixer. And here we can sort of move around different colors and shades. We can move positions around and ranges. And what we get is a range of different colors that will essentially be generating automatically with perfect hues that'll work together very well. There's another one here called cssgradient.io and it also does the same thing. Here we can generate a gradient and this spits out some code for us to be able to use. So this is a pretty cool one too. And finally we have colors inspo and this is inspiration for different color palettes we can use as well. They've got a number of different options in here and you can keep browsing until something is fancy. And when you select it, it just copies over the hexadecimal code that you can use straight into your website, which is cool. If you're into fonts and topography, there's a cool website called Fonts Area, and they essentially have lots of different types of cool fonts you can utilize that are essentially free. And they're updated and they have recommendation from their staff. So like even this one here, which is a staff favorite, let's take a look at this. This is Interim by Resmu, I think it is, but um, here they show you what this font looks like. And this is a really cool font. It's got change logs, it's got details, you've got different 
types of weights in here. So this is even one that I could see myself using in a website design. So that's pretty cool. We also have B fonts, which I'm not sure if you guys have heard of before, but they do more um, interesting and fun fonts that you can utilize, such as in placeholders or in areas on the big banner of your website. So they would be good to look at as well. And finally, we've got this website here, which are called, called Type Scale. And what they do is allow you to essentially see what your font might look like at different sizes, because this is something that I always have trouble with, because sometimes a font doesn't look very good when it's on a smaller scale or a larger scale. So this way you can test it out and just make sure that it's working properly. Now, if you do a lot of programming, you'll know how useful this website is because it essentially allows you to make your um, shadows, box shadows especially, a lot easier to create. Box shadows are hard and they often don't look very realistic. And here we can create multiple layers which are stacked on top of each other. And as we add more, the shadow looks more realistic. We can change the opacity for that and the gradients and whatnot so that we can create a box shadow which essentially fits perfectly for our website without having to play around with all that code. And we'll be able to see these changes live, which is really cool. Another CSS website here is this one for CSS side effects and they let you sort of have a look at different effects that you might be applying on hover states and when you select one of these you'll be able to copy over the code to apply that in your design which is pretty cool as well. And then finally we have this one here which is a resource for setting backgrounds with a sort of a um, uh, separator I suppose you'd call. So here we've got one where you set a angle but you can do different ones like a wavy design where you change the wave or even a zigzag and whatnot. So these are pretty cool as well and they just make your website UI a little bit more interesting. When making a website and app, you know how important icon design is. And here we've got a resource called iconstore.co and they've got heaps of cool icons, little things here that you can implement such as colored icons, outlines and whatnot. And when we select these, then you'll get them in the raw format such as SVG. So you can utilize them however you need or even recolor and repurpose them, which is really cool. There's another website here called css.gg and they do more static small icons if you need as a little placeholder next to a button or something like that. And finally, we also have this one here called tilda.cc and tilda icons are a little bit more interesting for landing pages where you might have large SVG like icons that you might place next to text and stuff. So they're cool as well. And finally, we're having a look at this one here, which is called icons8.com and they've got an animated icon section. And these are really cool because you can have some animated icons here for things like checklists or filters or delete buttons. And I really like these because I can see them being applied really well, especially for hover effects. So one thing that's always useful is also having really good background patterns. And Banzel.io, I think it is, they have some really cool options here. So we'll be able to download these and apply them in any way that we want. And they've got examples here for hero images, for separators and all sorts of stuff. So you can really find the thing that you need. Another good thing is this one here called getwaves.io and they let you have a little bit more flexibility on how you design maybe separators for different pages. Here you can select out how many waves for example one of your designs might have and you can design whether it's at the top or at the bottom so that's pretty cool as well. Then there's Blob Maker, and I guess this is sort of like for little SVG shapes you might place all over the place. And they're a little bit dynamic, you'd have to play around with them to get whatever you want, but at least it's a cool way to be able to pull out some shapes that you might need. We also have this one here for patterns, and patterns essentially allow you to pull out just interesting little patterns that you might place all over your website as well, and these are also quite useful for hero images and stuff like that. And finally we have scribbles, and scribbles are just, as the name suggests, they're small little scribbles in SVG format which you can place as well all over your website just to give it a bit of life and make it stay interesting essentially. So we're nearing the end of my recommendation list now and what I wanted to show is a couple of interesting ones that I like personally. There's this one here which is called Smart Upscaler and this is also by icons8.com and it lets you increase the size of an image without losing too much of the resolution. It does some really cool stuff with machine learning to keep it highly detailed which is really cool, I like that. Then there's this one here for design systems repo.com and these are different design systems that other organizations are using. And this gives you some interesting insights into how design systems are made and how you can essentially make your own ones, which is really cool. 
And finally, we have this one here, which is checklist.design. And I really like this one. This is a number of different checklists you can utilize for your website, depending on what you're trying to do. Like for example, if we select this one here for responsive design, then it's got a number of things here you can double check that you're doing properly, such as fluid um, layouts and breakpoints, topography. It's making sure that you're checking these things off that you've done properly, which is really cool. And I really like this.